Hi there. Now for this question, the first part, we're asked to simplify x plus 4 multiplied with 5x minus 3, then minus 3 times all of x minus 2 squared for 3 marks. So if you'd like to just do this first part and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, what I've done here is just copied down what we're given. Only when it, we've got x minus 2 all squared, I've just repeated the brackets there. So what we're going to do is just expand out the first bracket. Rather than writing equals, we should really write an identity sign there. So expanding the first bracket, we're going to have x times 5x, which is going to be 5x squared then then x multiplied with minus 3 is minus 3x, then 4 with the 5x, that's going to be plus 20x, and then we've got 4 times the minus 3, which is minus 12. Now we come on to this second term here. What I'm going to do is we'll keep the minus 3 there, and we'll just expand these two brackets. So we've got x times x, which is x squared, then we get x times minus 2, which is minus 2x, minus 2 times another x, that's minus another 2x, and then minus 2 times minus 2, which is plus 4. So if we now just expand the bracket here, I think also we could just group up a few terms as well. We got the 5x squared, but we can group up minus 3x plus 20x, and that's going to be plus 17x. And then we've got minus 12 there, and we'll start to expand the bracket. So we've got minus 3x squared, and then minus 3 times, well, minus 3 times minus 4x here, okay? That's going to be plus 12x, because you're going to have plus 6x plus 6x, so that's going to be plus 12x. And minus 3 times the plus 4, that's going to be minus 12. OK, let's group this up one more time now. And we've got 5x squared minus 3x squared, which is 2x squared. And then 17x plus another 12x, that's going to be plus 29x. And finally, for the constants, minus 12 minus another 12, that's minus 24. OK, now for the second part, we're given that the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of x plus 3 multiplied with x plus k multiplied with 2x minus 5 is minus 3. And we've got to find the value of the constant k for 3 marks. So again, if you'd like to uh, have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the answer for k is minus 2. But if you didn't get that, I'll just run through how I would approach it. I'd start off anyway by copying down what we're given, and that is x plus 3 multiplied with x plus k multiplied with 2x minus 5. Now, we've got to expand a couple of these brackets first of all. It doesn't matter which pair of brackets you expand, but Generally, when I get three brackets, I just expand the last two. So I'm going to write x plus 3 down, OK? And then we've got the result of expanding these two brackets. So we're going to have x times 2x. Well, that's going to be 2x squared. And then we've got x times minus 5, so minus 5x there. And now we go on for the k. k times 2x is going to be plus 2kx. And lastly, k times minus 5, well, it's going to be minus 5k. Now, I could expand all of this out again, but I'm not going to, because we're only interested then in looking at the coefficient of x squared. So I'm sure I could pick it off from this, OK? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put, therefore, the coefficient okay, of x squared. Well. If we're to try and find this, okay, what's it going to be equal to? Well, 
where are we going to get x squared terms? Well, we're going to get an x squared term when we do x times the minus 5x there. Also going to get an x squared term when we do x times the 2kx. We'll also get an x squared term when we do 3 times 2x squared. And I think that's it, isn't it? Yes. OK, so they're going to be the only places we're going to get x squared terms. So for this first one, x times minus 5x, that's going to give us minus 5x squared. So the coefficient will just be minus 5. Then we're going to have x times 2kx. That's going to give us 2kx squared. So the coefficient there is going to be just 2k. And for the last one, 3 times 2x squared is 6x squared. And that coefficient will just be plus 6. So cleaning this up, we end up with 1 plus 2k. Now we're told that this is equal to minus 3. So therefore, what we've got is 1 plus 2k must be equal to minus 3. So if we subtract 1 from both sides, we end up with 2k equaling minus 3 minus another one, which is minus 4. And from here, if I divide both sides by 2, you end up with k equaling minus 4 divided by 2, which is minus 2. And there you go.